Hi everyone. In this video, let's take a look at an online tool called webwhiteboard.com. Let's take a look. There's something interesting here. So if I head over to this site, webwhiteboard.com, um, it loads an online whiteboard. So I can just click on start a whiteboard. And if you did notice something, yeah, you would have noticed that it is uh, powered by Miro. Uh, now, so this is very interesting. The use case is very interesting. Um, it is obviously not Miro.com. It is webwhiteboard.com, but it says it's powered by Miro. Uh, and what this allows you to do is basically create uh, a board, an online uh, whiteboard. Uh, and in this case, uh, because it's Miro, it's actually underlying, uh, the underlying board is really just a Miro board. Uh, and it creates this, uh, it is public, it's a public board, um, and it creates this for you and as it's, as it, as it's mentioned over here, it will get deleted automatically in 24 hours, unless you sign up using Miro and then save this board. But the use case for this is really, is, is, is really interesting because you can pretty much create a board without having an account. Um, and for just one of those cases where you just need to quickly um, create a whiteboard, you know, just, just uh, draw something out, sketch something out, um, or even, uh, you know, or even, you know, when, when discussing, you want to explain something, uh, you could just use this, um, have a play around with it, just draw something, explain something, and then just delete the contents or just uh, uh, leave the board behind and, and, and Miro will automatically delete this board. Uh, so what you can do is you can head over to web whiteboard.com uh, and this will open up this particular tool I can draw I can basically add elements to this um, it's exactly the same as exactly the same as uh, miro.com and what I can do uh, uh, a, a quick difference um, in, in this particular board is that I can click on the share board button and copy this link uh, and I can use this link and send this link to anybody and anyone will have access to this board and can work with me in real time uh, or, and, and collaborate with me in real time uh, without all of us without actually having a Miro account uh, so if I copy this link um, and if I open another tab here another profile here now in this particular Chrome profile I'm actually logged into Miro so let's have a look at how that looks paste that link and while I wait for it to load there you go so it has loaded the board and it already has detected that there's two people in here um, I can make an update and in real time uh, the update will happen. I can see there's a few things going on here. Uh, now what I can do is in my logged in profile, logged in mode, I can follow the guest user and I can then open up the guest user. Just drag it a little here at the bottom uh, to the right and this to the left. And as you can see, I can make changes to the board in real time uh, and um, everything happens in real time so you know the follow happens in real time so as I make changes uh, or as I move around or if I draw things around uh, you can see uh, from left to right uh, it automatically makes those changes so I can stop following now um, now if I do want to save this board I have a few options I can click on this option this button here export board uh, and it tells me that you know I have to actually log into Miro to save this save this board. I can download a PDF or an image uh, of the contents of the board, so I can resize this and then export. And it does export uh, the contents of this board as an image. Uh, but if I do want to save this. Uh, I can click on this button here so in export it's not available but I can click on this button here save to my boards and this public board will then be saved un under my account over here um, and then of course I don't have to worry about this being deleted 
at any given point of time. I can also add some reactions so that's just a bonus of that and um, you should be able to see the reactions in the other profile as well so um, a few things that you can do um, probably not all the features uh, so if I click on the three dots here um, it is restricted um, and but hey you know it's a it's a free whiteboard that you can pretty much spin up in your browser any given point of time and uh, not worry about access uh, of, of sending the link of, of uh, you know of uh, people belonging to your organization or not um, you can just share the link and basically um, collaborate with with anybody so with anybody anytime so this is web whiteboard.com for you guys I hope you found this video useful and, and you know let me know if you already knew about this uh, or if you didn't and, and you found this useful please let me know in the comments below as well um, uh, that's all really for this video but you know look if you if you found this video useful just give it a like uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you can get notified uh, and my future videos will appear on your YouTube feed um, and of course do share this video with your friends with your family with your network uh, with your colleague uh, colleagues uh, with, with anybody who might find this video useful so that was a short video thanks for watching um, and see you guys in another video bye bye